Because of the holiday season, I don't really feel like playing an incredibly terrible video game and making a video out of it that only seven people will watch. Solution? Top 10 Mario Power-Ups. Yes, Mario, the man of many faces. I can't even begin to imagine how many power-ups in total there are in the entire Mario series, and I'm sure that I'm going to be leaving out some pretty great ones. But there's just so many. If I stopped and tried to go through all of them, I'd be here forever. Anyways, here's my list. Number 10. Starting out with one that most of you probably weren't expecting, the Hammer from Donkey Kong. I'm not sure if this power-up actually has an official name, like the Super Hammer or Metal Hammer or whatever. All I know is that it's a hammer that Mario swings so hard that he can break entire barrels with one hit. That's pretty cool if you really think about it. Also, being the first Mario power-up ever, appearing in the original Donkey Kong, pretty much makes this a necessity on this list. The hammers have reappeared prominently in every Mario RPG game, but the only comeback that I really count as being the same as the one from Donkey Kong would be in Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and in the Smash Bros. games. And anyone who's played those knows how awesome it is to get one. Look at that, I just knocked him off the screen in like one second. If Mario had these hammers in other Mario games, he could really save the princess much faster. Number 9. Goomba's Shoe. This one is... weird. It's not even an item, really. It's just a temporary accessory, but it still fits, so I'm gonna put it in here. It's pretty much just on this list because it's a pure novelty. Anyone who knows about this thing loves it. And why wouldn't they? You steal a shoe from a Goomba and use it to jump through the level. That's it. Simple, but surprisingly satisfying. You can also use the Tanuki Suit statue ability while using the shoe so that you can move around while invincible. Although, this doesn't work in the Game Boy Advance version. It's extremely rare, too, only appearing briefly in one level of Mario 3. It's been referenced in other Mario games like Super Paper Mario and Bowser's Inside Story, but never made a full comeback. So, this spot on the list is for the Goomba's Shoe, the rare, mostly useless, but never forgotten shoe from World 5-3. Number 8. The Metal Cap from Super Mario 64. As much fun as the Flying Cap is, I had to replace it on this list with another item, which we'll get to later. So, Metal Cap it is! The Metal Cap, for those of you who don't know, turns Mario's entire body into metal, allowing him to destroy more enemies and walk underwater. It also makes him near indestructible. Now, you may be asking yourself, wow, that sounds really cool. Why isn't this higher on the list? Well, usually an item that causes you to be indestructible is really great, but the effects of the metal cap are sadly only temporary, which caused it to be much lower on this list, which is why you won't be seeing the star on this list either. Even so, the metal cap is extremely cool, giving Mario shiny metallic skin and making each of his footsteps pretty loud. Yeah, don't try giving that guy a piggyback. The only other game this power-up was in was Mario 64 DS, but although the power-up hasn't technically appeared, Metal Mario has, appearing as a boss in Smash Bros, and as a new item called the Metal Box, which allows characters to change into metal in Melee and Brawl. 
Nintendo, get off your butts and make a proper Mario 64 too. And put the metal cap in it. Your fans will play it. It could be for the GameCube and they'd play it. It could be in black and white and they'd play it. It could be 8-bit and they'd play it. It could be only in French and they'd play it. It could be created by Tommy Wiseau and they'd play it. It could give you the flu and they'd play it. It could... Number 7. The Fire Flower. The first Mario power-up to allow him to pack heat! Literally. Giving an overweight plumber the ability to shoot fire out of his hands is pure gold. He's one step closer to becoming a Super Saiyan. Now, if only he had the hair. Let's not forget that although this power-up seems pretty simple now, it makes the game a hell of a lot easier. Being able to shoot Koopas and Goombas without even breaking a sweat. On top of that, it's reappeared in countless other Mario adventures. So, as long as the Fire Flower doesn't cause anyone to spontaneously combust, it'll have a spot on this list. Number 6. The Red Koopa Shell from Mario Kart. Yeah, I know what you're all thinking. The blue shell is technically more powerful, and it homes into the person in first place. But, that's not on my list. Why? Well, let's just say that when I play Mario Kart with my friends, I'm usually the one in first place. Meaning I'm the one who continuously gets hit by these damn things. But besides that, the red shells are just more fun, allowing you to hit whoever you want, shoot them backwards, and save them just for the right moment, etc. You can be in last place one minute, and if you get a set of red shells, you're on your way to victory. What's even better than all that is there's almost no escape from a red shell. Once you hear that thing sneaking up on you, you know you're toast. Number 5. Yoshi! The lovable green sidekick. Look at that guy, he's so adorable. He's so cute. He's, uh, uh, anyway. Introduced in Super Mario World, on top of being extremely useful in the game, giving Mario an extra hit, a second jump, and of course, eating enemies, Yoshi's the only power-up ever to subsequently get his own game immediately after his first appearance. Yoshi's also appeared in countless other games, usually as another character, but occasionally as a power-up, like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Super Mario Galaxy 2. It seems pretty demeaning if you really think about it. I mean, over the years, Yoshi's evolved into his own character. He drives a car, plays sports, he probably even has his own house. Yet Mario continuously demeans him by riding him around like a wild animal. If I were Yoshi, I'd just kick that guy in the ass. That'd show him. Douche. Number 4. The Cape Feather. Yeah, there's several Mario items that allow him to fly, but the Cape Feather is by far the most fun. It's pretty much tied with the flying cap from Mario 64, but this one isn't temporary, so it wins. I remember when I first played Super Mario World, I had already played Mario 3 and Mario 64, so when I first got this one, I was extremely confused. You still have to run fast to take off like in Mario 3, and you had to pull back and stuff just like in Super Mario 64 to fly up. But with this one, it actually takes a little bit of skill. You need to get the right rhythm down or you're just gonna fall. Which makes it even more fun to use. I especially love how you first get it, by straight up stealing it from a Koopa. So remember kids, Mario says it's okay to steal. Number 3. Oh, Mario 3, one of the best games in the Mario series, bringing us several great power-ups including the iconic raccoon suit. I mean, just try and find a poster or anything for Mario 3 that doesn't include the raccoon suit. I it's on the cartridge! But, wait, why should the raccoon suit be on this list? The Tanuki suit does everything the raccoon suit does and more allowing Mario to turn into a statue for invincibility, as well as flying and hitting things with his tail. 
not to mention the fluttering through the air. So screw you, raccoon suit, and make way for the tanuki suit. And I don't even think I need to talk about its reappearance in the recent Super Mario 3D Land, being the absolute most useful power-up in the game, as well as pretty much the main mascot. If all of that doesn't earn it a place on this list, then I don't know what does. Number two. Well, it's one thing to be the mascot of a game, but it's another thing to practically be the entire game, and Flood from Super Mario Sunshine is definitely that. The entire gameplay of this game is revolving around it, using it to clean up pollution, to hover over gaps, to beat bosses, to clean red paint, rocket up buildings, annoy pedestrians, push boats, run over water, clean teeth, shoot birds, slide on the ground, shoot watermelons, clean sand, put out fire, swim, annoy pedestrians again, fill jars, kill turtles, break down doors, collecting coins, defeating giant robots. A bit hotter, a bit cooler, a bit weird, a bit more revolutionary, a bit more Mario, a bit more of what you want. <sighs> So, yeah, that's why it's on the list. <sighs> now you're playing with power, superpower. Number one, the Super Mushroom. I'm honestly wondering how many people watching this video saw this coming. Yes, the Super Mushroom is my choice for number one, because if you really think about it, if it weren't for this thing, you'd be playing all of these games like this. A lot of people seem to forget that this is regular Mario, and this is Super Mario. That's why the word Super is in front of all of the titles of his games. Look at Donkey Kong or the original Mario Bros. There's no Super in the name, and he's a midget. But as soon as he finds a mushroom at the beginning of Super Mario Bros. 1, his life changed forever. Mario is Nintendo's mascot, and the Super Mushroom is Mario's mascot. Although, I do have to wonder, are these things alive? They have eyes. Are they baby toads or something? That's actually really disturbing. Actually, most of these power-ups have eyes. What kind of world is this? I'm no vegetarian, but if you're gonna eat something, at least kill it first. My god, we've been playing these games for years. We're all responsible for this. We have to spread the word. Stop playing Mario 64. Stop enjoying the fun of Mario Galaxy. Stop reveling in the nostalgia of Mario 3. Stop! <sighs> okay, I just need to calm down. I need to relax my nerves the way I always do. This is so much fun! I don't even remember what I was freaking out about! 